Hey, what's up, y'all? Created here with Created Purpose. So we just sitting here in the Logistics Sound Studios. Wanted to show you guys how to, in FL Studio, I'm running FL Studio 10, how you bounce down each individual track that you have on the song into its own individual waves file to mix down in Pro Tools or whatever you're doing. Um, the importance we found out on this, you know, we got the album coming out January 19th. And so we had this really sharp learning curve on getting this stuff done. I've been in studios, I've worked in studios, and I've never ever done anything within our own production studio here um, for a full major project of doing every single song, recording it, every single song produced here, every single song mixed here, every single song mastered here. So we learned a lot of stuff um, since we produced all our beats in and started mixing everything in FL Studio 10. But what we found out was that in FL 10, in heavy bass songs, um, w I couldn't really figure out when it was going to and when it wasn't. It just seems like the more you get into mixing, the more you get into saving, the more you add more tracks, um, vocal tracks, things like that, then it gets unstable. So you'll get vocals and kick drums that are distorting together and we found out that if you just bounce every single track down into individual waves and mix it, in our case, we mix into Pro Tools, then you eliminate all those issues. So I don't know if anybody else has been having those, but to avoid the headache and to avoid getting all the way to a mastering process on a song to figure out that it's jacked up, we just figured out that if you just bounce the, the program or all your, all your tracks down individually into waves, and put it into Pro Tools or whatever you're using, Cubase, Cakewalk, whatever you're using, it is so stable, you eliminate all the distortion, you just eliminate the issues that are happening in, in FL Studio. Um, so the very first thing you gotta do in FL to be able to do this is you'll see right here on the on each sound, it's gonna, you assign it to a, a new mixer track. You'll see it moving. Each one of these has its own has its own mixer track. And you'll see the importance of this once we start to save. But that's what you got to do. We'll do another video. Um, we'll put it out here in about a week or so. It's going to be how to really just set up your track and how to, you know, start off with getting them, how to start off putting them into its own individual mixer track and just the organization of everything. A really quick um, hotkey right here is if you're on the master track and you choose one of these sounds, let's say none of these are assigned to a mixer track yet, you can hit control L and it's going to automatically assign it to the next open mixer track. So like in this case, the next available mixer track is 46. So it would actually save it as 46 onto 46 and it will actually rename it to whatever sound you have so that's the cool thing instead of assigning it by itself by moving this and then renaming it you can just use control l and it will hotkey it to that next available one also you can hit control and the arrow key and and you can move you can move your your mixer tracks around um, that way, no matter where you're at in your arrange window or where they're set at, you can, in the mixer tracks, line them all up. Like I go with my kicks, my snares, my hi-hats, um, percussion, and then into my bass and my synthesizers and things like that. So just a good way to keep everything organized as far as where you're going to be mixing on your mixer tracks. So from this point, once you have everything on its very own mixer track, then you're going to go to export and you can export this as a wave or an mp3 it doesn't really matter and then you're just going to choose your folder that you want to put it into you don't really have to worry about changing the name unless you want to because when it bounces down each individual wave track when it saves each individual wave the waves are going to be saved as it is in the mixer and then it's going to also give you a final overall mix and then that's whatever the whatever you have the file named as that's what that's going to be so then you just hit save. And then what you're going to do is you want to make sure that in your options you have split mixer tracks. And so what this is going to do is it's going to split every single one of these mixer tracks into its own wave. And then all you got to do is hit start 
and um, you know you're ready to go you can put it in whatever um, wave format you want if you're doing it in mp3 you can change it your your mp3 quality up and um, you can save it as mp3 and wave midi you know whatever so but then you just hit start and there you go you got each one bouncing down and then you can just take those tracks into pro tools um, cubase whatever you're using in just remember that in fl studio your sounds are a stereo sound and so you can go through and delete each individual track if you want i know a lot of um, studios that will go in and they will delete like the right channel and just keep it the um just just keep with all mono channels um which is just fine because you're it's it's stereo or it looks stereo but it still is just mono um i use it as the i keep it stereo just for the simple fact that sometimes i mix some of my stuff in stereo in fl and then it's going to kind of keep that same feeling and that same way that you mixed an FL into Pro Tools. Um, to me, I've done it both ways. I've listened to them. There's no real change in it. Um, you just have a bunch of stereo tracks. So, you know, you can experiment with it, do whatever you want with it. And uh, there you go. Logistics Sound Studios giving you another tip on FL Studio. We'll be doing some more stuff with um, Pro Tools. We'll be doing some more stuff on on producing in FL Studio. So you can hit us up on our YouTube page at youtube.com forward slash created purpose one. And, uh, you know, go subscribe. We'll keep you up to date with new videos on, you know, just some practical things to, to get by.